Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a very nice exponential equation. An exponent that negates but the base is different this time. I believe we've done i to the power z equals negative i which was an exponent that negates. We did an exponent that, exponent that doubles, an exponent that triples, so on and so forth. Anyways, those problems are fun I think and this time we have an exponent that negates Euler's number. As you know, Euler's number is about 2.7. It's a really nice number that we use with natural logarithm. And if you take the limit of 1 plus 1 over n to the power n as n approaches infinity, what the infinity compound interest, so on and so forth, comes up in a lot of different places, right? So e is an interesting number. And it's also very special. Remember on my other channel, which is Cyber Math, I talked about the derivative and integral of e to the power x which is the exponential function and I said that that's a very special uh, function because that's the only one with uh, whose derivative equals itself of course I'm not talking about zero zero is just zero <laughs> anyway so we have this um, scenario where e to the z equals negative e and we're gonna solve for z okay how do we solve for something like this first of all when I graph these two things in the real world, there's no intersection point. Obviously, there's no real number that makes this possible. Why? Because e to the power z cannot be less than 0, and negative e is less than 0. So this is not going to happen in the real world, so we have to go to a different world, which is called the complex world. Let's go ahead and solve this problem in the complex world. I'm also going to show you the result from Wolfram Alpha. Where does this problem come from? Thanks to Vinia's 2997, I hope I said it right. Uh, he was asking, or she was asking, sorry for my assumption. Did you do i to the power of z equals negative i or e to the power of z equals negative e? I think with this video, we had uh, we have done both of those. So go ahead and check them out. And let's see how we can solve a problem like this. But I really love the idea. So thank you. Thank you, Vinias 2997 Keep up the good work. All right, so we have e to the power z equals negative e. Now, to be able to solve this problem, we're going to use the polar form, but e to the z is already in the exponential. It's good. The right-hand side, meh, it's kind of exponential, but we have a minus sign that sticks out. So we kind of have to uh, make this absorb the negative sign. And how can we do that? We can basically write the negative e as e times negative 1. And then go ahead and write negative 1 in exponential form. Uh, thanks to Euler, we can go ahead and write it that way. So let's see how we can do it. Negative 1 can be written as e to the power i times pi. But I want to write it in a more general form. So why not add multiples of 2 pi to this and kind of come up with a more general solution. So far, so good. So in this case e happens to be the modulus because if you take the absolute value of negative e, you really get e, right? Because absolute value cannot be negative, even in the complex world. It can be zero, but that's not very interesting. In this case, we have a positive modulus, and then the argument is pi. Why? Because negative 1 is on the negative side of the real axis. This is real. This is imaginary. And the argument which is the angle, of course, the modulus is, by the way, that's a negative 1. If you do negative e, it's just going to be e units away. But for th both of them, the modulus uh, is the same. I mean, the argument is the same, which is pi radians. But of course, you're allowed to add multiples of 2 pi. Make sense? So here's what we need to do. Something that we need to do. Uh, put, write this as e to the power 1, and then add the exponent so we can solve for z. From here, we get... 1 plus i multiplied by pi plus 2 pi n. And since the bases are equal, the exponents are equal, everything is equal. So from here we get z equals 1 plus i times pi plus 2 pi n. Okay, great. So in this case, if you wanted to simplify your work a little bit, you could probably replace n with 0, which should give you normally the principal value. And that would be z equals 1 plus i pi. Such a nice number, right? And it's written in standard form, which is a plus bi. By the way, a plus bi is the name of this channel, in case you didn't know. 
go ahead and check out my lecture videos if you are new to complex numbers because I made a bunch of videos problems at three different levels there aren't that many hard problems but if you suggest maybe we can do some hard problems harder problems I try to categorize into easy medium and hard I think but sometimes it could be inaccurate and let me know if you think a problem should not be there anyways so z equals 1 plus i pi is a solution and guess what you can check it e by plugging it plugging it in if you replace uh, z with that you can basically separate this into e to the 1 times e to the i pi this would be a negative 1 and that would be negative e nice so the exponent that negates in this case is 1 plus i pi is it always going to be that? That's a good question. Maybe in another video, we can do something like a to the power z equals negative a, where a is any given number. Do you think z is going to be the same as 1 plus i pi, or is it going to be something different? Anyways, we can talk about this later, so don't worry about it for right now. But let's go ahead and take a look at an alternative. Like when you got a problem like this, isn't there another way to solve it maybe? A second method? It should be possible, right? Let's kind of explore a little bit. I haven't thought about it initially, but maybe we can do something like this. Okay. I can definitely divide both sides by E to put the E's on the same side. I don't want to divide by negative E because then I wouldn't be able to combine them. But if I divide by E, then I will have two expressions or powers with the same base. This is E to the power 1. That I can write this as E to the power Z minus 1. And this will just be a negative 1. It's going to turn out to be the same thing, but just done slightly differently. And I, I just wanted to share with you an alternative approach anytime it's possible. Negative 1, again, in the complex world, can be written as follows, right? But let's do this a little differently. Instead of just going to the exponential form, why not natural log both sides, right? We can actually go ahead and... Oops. And that wasn't my intention. So we can go ahead and actually put natural log in front of both of these expressions. So put a natural log and then um, put a natural log and then just proceed with that. This will bring the z minus 1 to the front and ln e is 1 as you know. So we're just going to end up with z minus 1. And to be able to ln a negative number, I mean ln a complex number in general, we can talk about it like ln of a complex number like w. Oops, I meant... It should be on the other side. ln of a complex number w is ln of its absolute value plus i times the argument of that number. So ln of negative 1 is going to be the ln of the absolute value of negative 1 plus i times the argument of negative 1. But as you know, the argument of negative 1 is pi, so this is going to become i pi. ln of absolute value of negative 1 is 1. ln 1 is 0. Remember, this is a real value, the ln. So ln negative 1 is just going to be i pi. And this kind of makes sense because e to the i pi is a negative 1. And then if you ln both sides, you get i pi equals ln of negative 1. Makes sense? So that kind of turns out to be the same thing. But now I can go and replace ln negative 1 with i pi. And then after adding 1 to both sides, I'm getting the same solution, but of course, I'm kind of sticking with the principal form or principal value so that things are kept a little simpler. And this brings us to the end of this year. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.